What is up everybody, Vital Syntax here doing an in-depth look and analysis of the brand new multiplayer trailer for Battlefield 3. I'll be pausing the video quite a bit throughout, hopefully pointing out some things you guys didn't notice around the first time. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this first scene we get to see is from one of the new maps that DICE detailed in their Battlefield blog post, and this is the Canal map. The full the full title, although mispronouncing, is something like the Sheer Canals, and the brief description that DICE gave us is that it's a mixed combat in an industrial setting, so mixed combat's going to include everything from infantry uh, warfare to land, air, and sea vehicles. On top of that, it's got lots of different play areas from the sea itself to the shipping containers to the railroad tracks and the warehouses. Uh, so quite a unique map and it's something that we haven't seen in Battlefield 3 so far. Alright, so this is the first glimpse we get at the uh, boats that are going to be in Battlefield 3. Go a couple frames here. And you can see we're in one of the uh, uh, boats here that has a gunner seat in front of us. And on top of that we also have in front of us a amphibious tank. Uh, so that's quite interesting and a jet flying over us so that's going to have a, a huge variety of uh, vehicles on this map. Uh, here we get our first glimpse at the gunner seat from a transport helicopter, something that we expect but we haven't seen so far. Uh, looks quite interesting and quite powerful. So, And this is quite interesting. This is the aircraft carrier that's also on that canal map, and it's going to be the attacker's spawn point. So if you're playing Rush and you're playing as the attackers, you're going to spawn on the, on the aircraft carrier and have access to things like helicopters you can see over on the left, also boats and jets like we saw in the previous scene. Um, then you're going to have to use all those vehicles to do a full frontal assault onto the land and start taking out those objectives. Uh, it sounds like a really, really fun map. Alright, so this next map we're looking at um, is the Mavon Peak. And I'm probably pronouncing that once, once again incorrectly. Uh, the working title also, they're just calling it Base Jump, and you'll see why in a couple seconds. But the brief description that Dias gave us on their battlefield post is that it's uh, fighting in the winter mountains and you can see there's a huge um, vast landscape in the background with really high uh, mountains and things like that. And one of the most interesting things about this map, and you'll see it in a couple seconds, is the base jump. There's a 500 meter uh, basically skydive um, to start the map if you're playing as the attackers on Rush. We don't know if this uh, area is going to be available in other um, game modes like Conquest. Um, but at least for Rush, you're going to have this awesome experience of just diving off a huge cliff uh, to start out the map. So quite interesting, and you guys will see that in just a couple seconds. Also, I wanted to point out here, if you look in the bottom left, you'll see a list of squad members. And the icons slash emblems for what specialization they're using isn't showing up. This is something that one of the features that they said they were working on adding. And in some of the clips in this trail, you'll see that. Um, you'll see the specializations, but I guess they're using a mixture of old and new footage. But the reason they added that is so you can see what your squad mates are using for specializations because you don't want to be using the same squad specialization as they are because they don't stack. So if you're both using the sprint upgrade, you're not going to sprint twice as fast. You're just going to be wasting one of those uh, specializations. On top of that, if you look in the mini map in the bottom left, you'll see a indicator for a revive or for the assault medic. Uh, defibrillators, so I, I think that was something new that they added from uh, the beta and obviously is quite helpful uh, if you're playing as the Assault. Alright, so here's the base jump. It looks so freaking awesome. Got helicopters flying over us in a couple seconds, but I just wanted to point it out. This is one of the guns we uh, haven't seen yet. This is one of the guns that wasn't in the beta. It wasn't in the alpha. It was, it was listed on battle log. It's been listed um, on the fact sheet, but we haven't actually seen it before. And this is the SG553. It's going to be a carbine that's available to the engineer. Uh, it looks freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and jump off this fucking awesome cliff. <laughs> You notice while you're skydiving, you don't actually have to immediately put out your uh, parachute. Um, you'll go quite a bit faster if you don't have it out, and you'll have uh, somewhat of a control. So uh, you probably don't want to throw your parachute out until you're actually close to the ground. Um, so you're going at a higher velocity, and the enemies can't shoot you while you're falling. You'll see when he lands here, quite a cool impact feature. Looks very awesome. 
Um, here's something that we kind of expected in the game, but I hadn't personally seen yet, is you can shoot people out of helicopters with uh, infantry weapons. Um, so with a sniper rifle, assault rifle, it doesn't really matter. If you actually shoot the human being that's driving that helicopter, I, sh I guess I shouldn't say human being, but the player that's driving that helicopter, you can actually take that whole helicopter down. And this actually also includes jets. Uh, I haven't seen it yet in any videos, but I did see a trailer, or sorry, not a trailer, an interview where one of the developers from DICE confirmed that you could snipe or shoot somebody out of a, hel or out of a, a jet seat, which is just awesome. Um, now this is kind of interesting, if you look at this Humvee right in front of us, the turret that's on top, there's no actual player controlling it, although it's shooting, so it might be some type of automated system, or maybe you can use that turret if the player's not uh, in that seat, so I don't really know exactly how that's going to work. And then this is really cool, we can actually see it's kind of blurry, but there's actually a helicopter in there. You can kind of see a faint outline if I go a couple frames. Uh, further, but there is a helicopter flying in that tunnel, which is just crazy. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not sure which map this is, but obviously uh, it's another sea vehicle map, and it's cool to see that there's going to be some uh, infantry or uh, mm -hmm. uh, sea battles, and you can see he's driving the RHIB boat. Alright, so now we're back to looking at the, um, the canal map, um, uh, Nashir Canals, and there's a couple more clips from this map. Uh, this guy's using a light machine gun. I'm not sure which one this is, but uh, you can leave a comment if you do know which one it is. Alright, now moving into this new map, I'm not exactly sure which one it is. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it could either be... Um, Scene Crossing, which is going to be a, a map that takes place in downtown, um, or I guess not downtown, but the streets of um, of Paris. So it could either be Scene Crossing, or there's another map that has a similar scenery, and that's uh, Grand Bazaar. Uh, but it looks more like Scene Crossing. You can see there's lots of buildings. It's very close quarters, um, very, very infantry focused, and you can see they're playing Conquest, and it's going to be a five ma uh, flag Conquest map. So I think it's actually going to be pretty big. Um, and one of the biggest things about this type of map where there's huge via or it's huge buildings is there's lots of destruction. So you'll see from lots of these clips there's lots of buildings falling over, rubble falling on character on enemies and teammates and things like that. So really, really cool environments. Alright, so now this last map that they show us is is another really interesting map and it's a, a map that takes place during the night which is quite different than all the other maps we've seen and this is the Tehran Highway, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly the brief description that they gave us on the battle log post is that it's an infantry fighting in tight city streets uh, you can see off in the background just a huge visual display of uh, just the city being completely destroyed um, quite quite interesting and I, I like that they're doing um, both daytime and nighttime maps because it just has a completely different feel um, to it so let's go ahead and continue Alright, so that's basically all of the maps that are going to be in the full game. You saw at the very end a clip of each one. And after this little brief um, Battlefield 3 uh, promotion thing, there's going to be some clips of the back to car can maps. Uh, seeing as I didn't play Battlefield 3, I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about those. So leave some comments down below if you guys uh, want to talk about the uh, back to car can maps. But I'm obviously very excited to play on them as well. So let's go ahead and finish the video, and thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a rating. Peace.